Hand sharpening is a form of spatial enhancement in which we take low-resolution multispectral imagery and integrate it with higher-resolution panchromatic imagery. In this example, I'm going to be working with a Landsat 8 scene. You can see displayed right now is the multispectral imagery. There's the panchromatic imagery. Then finally, you can see the output of my pan sharpen process. For the multispectral composite, I stack together the first seven bands of Landsat 8, bands 1 through 7, into a 30 meter multiband composite. The panchromatic image from Landsat 8 band 8 has a resolution of 15 meters. Pan sharpening works by preserving some of the spectral information in the multispectral imagery with the spatial detail in the panchromatic imagery. Here I am examining the output of my pan sharpen process in which I have a new 4 band 15 meter resolution multispectral dataset. Now I'll compare the original multispectral imagery and panchromatic datasets to the new pan sharpen dataset. Here we're looking at the difference between the multispectral imagery and the panchromatic imagery. As we can see, the multispectral imagery is more spectral information, and the panchromatic dataset has greater spatial detail. Switching over now to a comparison between the original multispectral image and the output pan sharpened image, we can see that the output pan sharpened image has improved spatial detail and it has still preserved some of the spectral information in the original multiband image dataset. Not all pan sharpening routines preserve the original spectral information. Recall that my original multispectral image had seven bands, whereas the output pan sharpened image only has four bands. Now we'll take a look at how this pan sharpened dataset was created. The geoprocessing tool I used is called Create Pan Sharpened Raster Dataset. As you can see, the raster input is the multispectral imagery, in which I specified the red, green, blue, and infrared channels. And thus, the output only consists of these four individual bands. It's imperative that you assign the appropriate channel to the appropriate band in your multispectral dataset when doing any pan sharpening. Scrolling down, you can see that I've set the output raster dataset to be called pan sharp. I've specified my panchromatic image to be my Landsat 8 panchromatic image, and then I've set the pan sharpening type. The Graham Schmidt pan sharpening routine that I've selected here is sensor specific. I've selected the appropriate sensor, Landsat 8, and the routine has automatically populated the weights for all four bands. Selecting the appropriate pan sharpening type requires a bit of understanding about the various capabilities and limitations of each option, along with a bit of trial and error. As you can see, if I change the pan sharpening type, my options also change. Some of the pan sharpening types are not sensor specific, while others, like the Gram Schmidt that I've used here, are. Regardless of the routine you use, you may find it necessary to adjust the band weights used in the pan sharpening process. That being said, if your pan sharpening type gives you the option to select a sensor, please ensure that you choose the appropriate sensor for your input data. Not only do not all pan sharpening routines return the same number of bands in the output pan sharpen dataset as there were in the original multispectral image dataset, but some of those bands may be switched around. Not only does my pan sharpened image dataset contain fewer bands, but those bands have been swapped around. For example, 432 is a natural color composite in the multispectral dataset, whereas 123 is now a natural color composite in the pan sharpen dataset. Creating a color infrared composite in the pan sharpen dataset requires that I use bands 4, 1, and 2, as band 4 is near infrared, band 1 is red, and band 2 is green. To do the same for the multispectral dataset, I would choose bands 5, which is near infrared, band 4, which is red, and band 3, which is green. This is why it's so important that you visually assess the output of your pan sharpen process so that you understand the properties of your new pan sharpen dataset. Pan sharpening can be a useful technique to apply when you want to spatially enhance your multispectral imagery with corresponding higher resolution panchromatic data, but you need to pay special attention and understand the inputs and outputs of this routine.